Leviathan here, in the past few years of owning a McLaren 650S, I've had a very comprehensive view of what it's like to live with. So today, I'm gonna to talk about the dark side of McLaren ownership, and that is maintaining a McLaren 650S. Before we go on our cruise, let me start with some context. When it comes to things that may go wrong, I feel like I've experienced it all. I've had an engine failure, I've had fluid leaks, all of them. Engine, suspension, transmission, you name it, coolants. And each time the McLaren goes for an inspection or a repair, it comes back with a little booklet. The season has really just started and to date I have three booklets. And don't let the number fool you, if you open it up, you have a very, very long list. In fact, there are multiple pages. One, two, three, four pages in this book. with a three-year factory warranty, but you can extend it by up to 12 years. McLaren actually followed in the footsteps of Ferrari, who are offering a 12-year warranty. When it comes to the annual cost to maintain a McLaren, it's roughly between three to five thousand dollars, which to maintain a supercar is not bad. However, you really have to add on the cost of the extended warranty because after speaking to quite a few dealerships, no one will actually recommend owning a McLaren without some sort of warranty. You may think that McLaren is just trying to make extra money through their warranty program, but what I'm hearing, and this is just a rumor from a lot of dealerships, is that McLaren is losing a ton of money when it comes to this warranty. Because cars like mine are going in for repair after repair after repair, and it's really amounting to a lot. What I predict in the future is not only will price increase significantly, but coverage on the other hand will decline drastically. So when it comes to actually maintaining a McLaren, I have to say it's roughly about ten dollars to $15,000 a year, which covers your extended warranty, your annual service, and a little buffer for things that may not be covered under the warranty or through the annual service. And to be honest, I feel that's a really high cost to maintain one of these cars, especially when it comes down to the extended warranty. In fact, when I first bought the McLaren, I didn't think I would have that many issues. It's a very new car with very low mileage, and you wouldn't think that I would experience everything from an engine fail to endless fluid leaks. It's a very complicated car, and there's not that much expertise in the market. So you will always be paying a very high cost just to maintain your McLaren. So there you have the dark side of owning a McLaren. And the question I am starting to ask myself is, well, is it worth it? Thanks for watching. Until next time.